So what we're looking for in the art portfolio, we want your seven to 12 best pieces of work that you have. And that can come from a lot of different areas. Though it can be in drawing, it can be in painting, it can be in traditional sculpture, it could be 3D modeling, it could be digital sculpting, it could be photography. We do want to see in any piece that you show to us that you understand those foundational skills that we talked about, that you understand shape, proportion, line, mm -hmm. uh, shading, all those different aspects. It shouldn't matter, even if you're doing photography, we want to see composition, things like that, right? So all those different things should play into those final pieces that you uh, produce for us and show to us. Some things to think about whenever you're turning in your portfolio. We obviously want to see your best work. That's number one. Uh, we said that we would like to see seven to 12 pieces, but if you feel like maybe your last three pieces aren't your best work, don't include it in your portfolio. If you end up with fewer pieces than seven to 12, that's fine. We want to see your best work. We also want to see work that is relevant to the area that you think you might want to go into. So we spend a lot of time with 2D and 3D. That's an area that we focus in on. We also focus on animation and then also technical art. So anything that you can show in those particular areas is really going to help you in your portfolio. So think about a 2D area, things that you might have drawn for concepts or you might even have student projects that you've worked on for different drawings or maybe there's something from a painting class. Even think about this for uh, 3D. If you have been in a sculpture class or even ceramics, mm -hmm. turn those things in because we can tell the quality of the art uh, for those different things. One thing that we can pick up on is these student projects that have been put out there and we know that they're a certain assignment. If it's done really, really well and it shows some uh, good foundational skills to it, yeah, definitely include that. But if you don't think it's your best work and it's just student work, that doesn't really help you uh, in those different situations. So definitely think about the area that you want to focus in on and try to turn in work that you think is rel relevant to that area. Absolutely, we, we want to see, again, whatever is your best work, and if that happens to be from the student project that we know is a student project, it's still a good drawing. So I don't want to dis include that work, mm -hmm. but I do want to see your creativity. So a lot, of, a lot of times the creative things happen outside of the realms of these assignments that you have. So don't be afraid to show that work. We really want to see that creative process. So we do have an area that's considered a generalist and in industry this happens quite a bit. Usually as a student, you don't want to be a generalist. Usually as a student, you want to focus in on one particular area. And then as you move into the industry over time, maybe you become a generalist through doing a lot of different jobs. But we're going to have to have you do some kind of specialization. We do know that the portfolio process, you might not know exactly what it is that you want to be. So try to help us understand what you think is maybe your top one, two areas that you want to focus in on. But if you do consider yourself a generalist, then you know, give us a wide range of things that we can kind of take a look at. But make sure you have pieces that do represent, if this is my top one and two areas, that you have some pieces in those areas to kind of help us understand, yeah, you've got some talent in that area.